Hey everyone. So today's Monday move is going to be a locomotion pattern. Now there's quite a few different patterns that we use in our lives from walking to running, shuffling, skipping, crawling, but today I'm going to cover skipping. It's one of my favorite locomotion patterns to teach my clients because it has kind of a playful movement style to it with some hopping and you can also take this into three planes of motion. So I'm going to show you skipping forward and back, sideways, and also turning in a circle. So first and foremost, a skip pattern is a step followed with a hop on the same foot. So as you see me skip here in a second, I'm going to be stepping onto my left foot first and I'm going to drive my right knee up so I hop on my left foot. I'm going to skip down and back and then we'll talk a little more about it. Here we go. So as you can see, I have a good arm drive, my knee is coming up real high, and the rhythm is that cross-body rhythm, similar to running or walking. So I like the skip because it definitely gets the heart rate up, you're jumping every step, so there's a little extra leg work as well, and it's just good brain activity for that cross-body motion. Now usually, forward and back skipping is pretty easy, but the next one, moving sideways, can be a little trickier. So what I'd like to encourage you to do first is learn to skip in place. Then you can start slowly moving to the left or right. Let's see how it goes. practice that one for a while. The major key is not to cross your feet. A lot of people as they start skipping to the left, their right foot will cross over their left. You want to avoid that. It's a big step open and a small step together. Big step open, small step together. Again, start by skipping in place and then add in a little motion to the side. Finally, it doesn't happen often, but because you could do it, we could skip in a circle. I could skip while turning a circle, or I could actually skip in a full circle. So, because I can, I'm gonna do both. First, easy little skip while turning in place. You could skip and turn a lot, or skip and turn just a little bit at a time. Okay, or I could skip in a big circle. So I'm just around a center point. I could skip sideways in a circle. I can skip backwards in a circle. So you see where skipping can really become quite an active motion to play with. So use skipping in your next warm-up. Maybe three to five minutes, try changing some directions and see how it goes. I guarantee you, your heart rate will get up. Have a great time moving and I'll talk to you soon.